What's going on guys? Bengal again here and welcome back to another episode of Face of the Franchise featuring Ben Bones. Now, a lot of people got mad that I gave Ben Bones number 20 because like Ed Reed, one of the best safeties in NFL history. I don't know where that actually came from. Uh, but yeah, one of the, I said best weird and then I just rocked with it. Uh, one of the best safeties in NFL history, here's the thing, right? And here's where we're going to have a fundamental disagreement is Ben Bones might be the best player in sports history so he takes whatever number he wants so yeah he's gonna wear number 20. we do have a new upgrade though two points here and i don't know he doesn't really make anyone miss with jukes or spins really so i guess we could upgrade those into the 90s however would trucking be more worthwhile i guess we'll just go into elusive and kind of build that up i mean power back was only what 63 overall for him so I don't really see a ton of value there. We get plus two break tackle, plus one carry, plus one juke, plus one ball carry vision, and of course, plus one awareness. We'll go back into elusive as well. He's at an 84 overall with morale. Acceleration up one. Ball carry vision carrying spin move all also up one. So that brings spin move up to an 86, which I think it was at that with morale. And juke move playing up to an 87 with morale. So I guess we are getting slightly better with the best player in NFL history as we're continuing to the next moment, which it seems to be simulating a lot of weeks here. What is, is it? This is a lot of weeks to be simulating. Where are we going? Still, it's week 10. Are we going to play a game? How can we be rookie of the year if it doesn't let you play? We're nine and one. Okay. Closing in on clinching. Rich Eisen tweets out, nothing is wrapped up yet, but potential playoff berth is within grasp for one of the NFL's hottest teams. Okay. Do we have upgrades? How many points? Two in, in like 10 weeks? Okay. Maybe. Uh, things are up slightly. I guess we'll just continue to go into elusive, man. Ben Bones is clearly becoming the face of the franchise here in just his first year. Awareness, ball carry, vision, carrying, juke move all go up by one. We'll do the same thing again. We're not exactly getting big boosts over here as awareness plus two. Wow. And then carrying and spin move go up. Juke move has gone up one in like five upgrades. And spin hasn't changed much either. However, there is a new update to rise to fame as we won our rookie debut. And somehow we're already ahead of Saquon Barkley. How is that possible? Saquon's been in the league for a couple years now. He won rookie of the year over Baker. Ben Bones has played in what, 11 games? How are we above Saquon Barkley? I don't know, but we will continue. Seems like we're about to get a moment here. Wonder if we'll have a cutscene or what's happening, but we shall see. Ooh, press conference. One press conference that stands out to me in particular was when I first got to use my buzz from the season to build momentum for a big game we had coming. All right, let's see. The team's alive. I, of course, I have to be the freaking guy because uh, they don't actually say anything. Uh, the team's alive in the playoff race. You're a serious candidate for rookie of the year. I Whatever. But a tough Steelers team awaits. How are you going to win? Uh, by scoring more points. Are you stupid? Lean on me. When you're feeling... I don't know the lyric. What is it? How does it go? Lean on me. When you're not strong. Ben More Bones is here. Showcasing our strength to the present fans He's a beast, dude. I'm team. a little bit... I'm, I got my energy levels up almost to an annoying ones. level beyond belief for this video. I'm sure some people are going to like this. I'm feeling amped. We got a target on the back. Your press conference comments serve as a bulletin board material. Plus 10 play recognition of all opposing team defenders for next game. We got to prove for the man. 175 rushing yards. That's a total of rushing. Either way, that's a tall task. Even for the Bonemeister. And the snow is coming down here at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. There's Ben Bones and other players. I think Patrick Queen chose 48. Kind of a disgusting number for a linebacker, in my opinion. I think Patrick Owasso had that previously, but he's now not on the team. As Big Ben is out here, ready to lose. Ben Bones back to return. Here's Chris Boswell. And we have Ben Bones. There's that Ed Reed. He's better. Uh, that's that, that disrespectful. Cry. Cry about it. All right, what do we need? 175 rushing yards? In the snow, no less? I mean, it is a good weather to run the football. As Ben Bones is already off to the race. It's a juke to the right. And he is gone. 
one touch, one touch down as he launches the ball into the end zones after a 68-yard gain. Did I say into the, into the stands? Into the end zones, is what I said. Look at this lag. <laughs> he launched it out of the end zone, into the stands. 7 nothing. What a start to this game here as we're experiencing a lot of lag. One yard off being a nice score. 69, nice merch is in the store. Link in description if you want to pick up some merch. Also added new merch for a football team. Been going with that meme, so check that out if you're interested. We run half back. Wham! Andrews in motion. Good block. Juke back. Maybe a little late on that actually. But we're already at over 75 or 70 yards rushing, so Ben Bones is certainly on pace to do something special here in this matchup. Maybe even break the record for rushing yards of the game. It's 296. Adrian Peterson against the Chargers in his rookie year. Surprised I remember all that. He's my favorite player ever, I suppose, but... What was the date? That's a question. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say probably October. October... I feel like it was in the 20s for some reason. October 24th. That doesn't... 27th, that's my official guess. Chargers, Vikings, November 4th. I was a week off. And still wrong. Here's a handoff to Bones. Spin back through the hole. There's the juke. Juke back the other way. Stiff arm. Down to the 12. Over 100. We're balling. In the zone. Bones up the middle. Truck him over. Touchdown. It's just too easy. Second touchdown of the game. Money. This might be the best first quarter in the history of football organized sports look at how fast ben bones is make a fitzpatrick play that real well but seven rushes for 146 and two tds did they turn the difficulty below rookie like this is the easiest thing of all time this isn't even rookie difficulty it's not heisman for ncaa or all american it's below freshman this is pop warner difficulty oh break that tackle I think that's going to be the X-Factor off, right? Oh, no. We managed to just barely get back to the line. Was trying to do too, uh, like way too much there. Probably just should have taken what the defense gave us. Ben Bones is a monster, dude. Oh, my goodness. Over 150 now. Good block at the second level. This is Mark Ingram. We don't want him. Get him out of here. We'll go with a slip screen. I mean, we're going to set the uh, record for rushing yards in the game anyway. Might as well also get him involved in the passing game. Juke back, uh, juke back to find the blocks, but couldn't spin around that one. Good gain, but not what we're looking for exactly. I want to keep first one free unlocked, because that's a pretty good ability to have. I don't really want to get tackled for a loss. And in this goal line situation, like they're going to be expecting that, but it doesn't matter. Ben Bones, Bob's Weaves, fights his way into the end zone. His third rushing touchdown of the half. I mean, Ben Bones might rush for 600 yards this game. No! Tackle for a loss. You hate to see it. Oh, did he even go down there? That was kind of a glitchy looking run. 175 now as we hit the two minute warning. Block 80. Miles Boykin, will you please? Look at the spin back. He's just faster, just better. Last play of the half is fourth and 10. We're going to run the ball here, and it, it ran me right back into Devin Bush. We had the outside, probably. But what a half indeed for Ben Bones. And how much time do we have to break this uh, record for rushing yards in the game? Ben Bones is the entire offense. Let's flip it to this side of the field and go up the middle. Juke didn't work at all. 20 rushes for 224. Huh. Ben Bones is having an unreal performance. We still run this here? Let's go to read option. Let's bring up to hold it down. Ben Bones makes somebody miss. Juke into the outside. He's got the edge. Ben Bones, be faster. Oh, no. Stopped by number 28, Mike Hilton. And that puts Ben Bones in the Ben zone. Only up by three here. 
Don't love that. But that is a huge run, and Mark Ingram is now in the game. Which is not what we want. It'll just be Lamar Jackson. Look how fast he is. Oh my god. That's not fair. Second one, going back to Ben Bones. He stumbled, but had the stumble recovery on. We're up over 260. Oh, look at the speed. First one free, breaking tackles and fighting into the end zone. You cannot bring Ben Bones down with arm tackles. That is a new milestone. That should be the new record for rushing yards in a game. I say record quite weird. I feel like I said said weird. What is happening to me? But look at Ben Bones, man. Breaking the rushing yard in a game record. He's a beast. Free safety, Minka Fitzpatrick coming up. We'll have one more play left in the third quarter. And it's going to be a good one as Ben Bones is gone. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Ben Bones to end the half. Get on your horse. He's flying. 10th career rushing touchdown in just, what, 11 games? 91-yard score. That is what you call the dagger. Ben Bones is not only broken, but has shattered the record for rushing yards in a game. And this is going to help more. <laughs> Yet another touchdown for Ben Bones. 46-yarder. And now it's every single time he touches the football. It is a monster game. I'm not even sure how many rushing yards Ben Bones has right now. And it seems like it's going to be a little bit less. 418. <laughs> oh my goodness. He shattered it. 296 is beaten it by over 100. <laughs> my goodness. And that's, that's not how you want to run the football. Six touchdowns as well. Good lord. Now that now they're amazing at stopping us. Where'd this come from? Where, where is this coming from? We're gonna go back to Ben Bones here. Dude, they couldn't stop Ben Bones from scoring an automatic touchdown every play. And now it's like every time it's an automatic stop. Can't break a tackle there. But uh what a performance nonetheless. Up by 10. This is the time to ice it. We're starting from the 10. 49 seconds to play. And, I mean, the speed is just too much in space. Doesn't matter how many timeouts the Steelers have. They have no chance to get back in this game. Oh, on fourth down. At insult to injury. Rubbing a little bit of salt in the wound. A little bit salt. Dude, can I speak English today? Ben Bones, though, has broken the record, shattered the record for rushing yards in the game. 453 and six touchdowns. Literally an unbelievable game. Yeah, top of your class, earning 2,500 XP, 750 legacy. We get a momentum boost, solidifying our status as a rookie of the year front runner, and the team as a legitimate Super Bowl contender. We continue to roll down the stretch of the regular season. And nothing is regular about Ben Bones, I can assure you. That was not a regular season. And of course we have upgrades there. Should have more than one skill point. Like, where is broke the record for rushing yards in a game? Plus 1050 XP. Wait, you gotta be kidding me. For breaking the record for rushing touchdowns and yards in a game, you get a combined 100 XP? 100? I don't know about all that. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the elusive back portion of Ben Bones again. We get an ability slot. Ball carry vision, break tackle, carrying, juke, and spin. I'll go up by one. What is our other ability slot going to be? Energizer. Yeah, let's do Energizer. That feels good. Ball carriers with this ability will replenish a portion of their stamina upon successfully performing any skill move. I'm in. But that will be in the next episode, whatever it is. Uh, our new objective is to win a Super Bowl our rookie year. So stay tuned for that. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Thank you.